Welcome to our week four lecture. This week, as I'm sure you're aware, we are covering two chapters of our textbook focusing on the issues of crime and war. There's a lot there to discuss and learn about, and between your textbook and our discussion board, I hope you'll all have the opportunity to consider these issues further. In the previous weeks of this class, you'll have noticed that our lectures are very tied to the textbook material, with the lectures being an opportunity to consider that material in more depth. This week, however, I want to do something a little different, as I think we have a particularly unique opportunity where significant current events and our classroom topic intersect. I'm sure that many, if not all of you, will have seen the photographs of the young Syrian boy, Alan Kurdi, who was drowned while crossing the Mediterranean with his family. These photographs have given a face to a previously faceless conflict for many people across the world. They have catapulted the Syrian war and the consequential humanitarian crisis into the forefront of our global consciousness. But be clear, the Syrian conflict and the agony of these refugees is not a new concern. This war has been raging on for nearly five years, with about a quarter of a million people dead and four million people displaced as refugees and asylum seekers. These are people who have not been accidentally caught in the crossfire. They're not military or rebel forces. They are civilians, men, women, and children who are being intentionally targeted by the violence. So it is this conflict that I would like to focus on for this week's lecture, as an illustration of the changing nature of war, as a very real example of the impact of war on the people, the country, and the global community, and as a lesson in the role of the global community in bringing an end to these conflicts and providing relief to those in crisis. Now, while it's my usual practice to provide you with an instructor-generated lecture each week, I think I would be remiss to tackle this topic myself when there are far more expert people on this particular issue who have a lot to say. So this week, I'm providing you with a link to a lecture given at NYU by David Miliband, CEO and President of the International Refugee Committee. This lecture was given in 2014, so you'll note some information has changed. The data, as I said earlier, is worse than what he reports a year ago. And clearly in the past week, the global attention to this crisis has begun to shift. However, his remarks about the conflict, the humanitarian need, and the role of the global community are unchanged. I hope you'll find it a thought-provoking read.